Hola Street Togs. Soy Eric Kim de Eric Kim Blog. <laughs> Alright, so another random uh, turbo thought I wanted to share with y'all. So this one uh, is partly inspired by Cindy. It's the basic notion that you're the end product, you're the final goal. So what does that mean and why am I saying this? So this is the basic notion. I think this is the problem about like kind of like Silicon Valley modern day thinking is that Everyone wants to become a billionaire, everyone wants to create a billion dollar company, get a billion followers, make a billion whatever, <laughs> maybe. But the problem is, it's too focused on the external world, things we cannot control. So for example, you could be the smartest person, work really damn hard, you know, take all that, you know, stimulants in the world, whatever it may be. But it's not 100% guaranteed that you're going to become a billionaire or a trillionaire. There's some element of luck. And obviously, the more you practice, the more likely you are to succeed. But at the same time, I think the best way to live life is where you have maximal control of everything you pursue in your life. So that means do things which, I mean obviously there's also a certain limit to how much you could do your own things, but try to engage in activities which require less the opinion of other people and could be achievable on your own terms. So for example, you know, even making like a, a startup or whatever, one of the difficult things is, you know, you can't control how many people sign up for your service and so forth, but things you could control if you decide to write a personal essay or if you decide to um, you know go out and make photos or you decide to make a musical beat or whatever maybe these are things that you have hundred percent in your control and these are things that you don't require the permission or the gatekeeper of anyone else in order to do so it seems that maybe the best life goals we could have is to aim for life goals where we have 100% control and where we have 100% autonomy over the results of our actions. So I think that this is really interesting because the more we pursue this type of lifestyle, the more, you know, essentially quote, quote, happy we'll be, the less resentment we'll have, the less kind of stress we'll have. And I also think that one of the important things in life is for us to, you know, essentially keep doing things which we could feel maximally empowered ourselves to do. And, ooh, feels nice and good. Okay, this is a, another life pro tip. One of the most beautiful places in the world, my new favorite city in America, is uh, Providence, Rhode Island. In the most slept on city in America and possibly, check it out. Pretty cool, huh? Anyways, so um, going back to the random nonsense at hand. Okay, so perhaps the, the strategy in life should then be for us to work on things in our life where we have 100% control. And the idea is you're the end product or you're the, you're the end is that you direct all your energies and powers to maximally self-develop yourself, whether that be your writing, your your photos, your anything that you consider your art or you know your physical strength and stuff like that. So this is actually why I'm such a big fan of powerlifting, you know, just deadlift, squats, bench press, etc. etc. Is that you could control the amount of effort you put in. And generally the good thing with powerlifting is it's possible for any healthy, normal, normal person to make gains in powerlifting. So for example, I'm like, you know, an ectomorph Asian with pretty thin wrists, pretty unspectacular genetics, whatever. I'm around like five foot ten. Uh, I think I weigh like a hundred. I think like I weigh like 170 pounds. And then you know I could do. I think my max deadlift right now, sumo style, is 430. Squat was like 320, 330, something like that. Bench is like two plates and some change. So 
I just, well, all I try to do is add a potato chip. It's a two and a half pounder on each side, which is like a total of five pounds a week. And I just attempt a new one rep uh, PR max every single week. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. But I've been just following this simple protocol for the last few years and I've been able to make, you know, indefinite slow gains. And it's been, a, it's actually been a lot of fun. And, you know, practicing intermittent fasting, not eating breakfast or lunch, just having a big ass dinner, crock pot, best life hack you could buy pork for like 99 cents a pound or chicken or even beef for like two to three dollars a pound and just eating a crap load of meat and I love I think physical like powerlifting or weightlifting whatever is so underrated because it doesn't matter what your genetics are whether you're a guy or a girl how tall you are blah blah anyone could become stronger and you could see instant results instant gains which is pretty awesome and also for me the more physical uh, physiologically powerful i become the more confident i get in social interactions the more confident i get in making these videos the more confident i get in blogging and sharing my thoughts and opinions on whatever nonsense which is on my mind and so even moving forward i personally want to work on you know more blogging philosophy writing blogging, vlogging, YouTubies, <laughs> videos, anything that personally interests me. And this is another thing that I've personally learned in my life is that the more you pursue things in your life which are personally interesting to you, generally the more interesting it's going to be to other people because you are the ultimate filter, you're the ultimate sense of what's interesting, what's not interesting. And you know, people say this all the time is that there's so much interesting content out there, blah, blah, what's the point of me doing it if I might not be as good as other people? But my personal perspective is, it don't matter because your perspective hasn't been shared, your perspective is always changing, you're unique. Um, and I think to be able to share ideas which are your own, which are personal, pragmatic, and unique to you, I think it's uh, I think it's important. So, I think just thinking about life in general, care less about what other people are doing, be more focused on yourself. It's sometimes the best way to be altruistic is to help yourself to the max. And so, yeah, focus on yourself. Think of yourself as a uh, own product. Blog more, vlog more. Start your own YouTube channel. Start your own website. Blog. Uh, write more. Make more photos. Make more videos. You know, and uh, deadlift more. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace out.